Are you tired of losing in piano tiles over and over again? Well, no more! I have a solution for you! Terminator! The lab that looks at red! This is Talminator, and he helps me beat everyone in Piano Tiles. In this video, I'm going to show you how I created this bad boy and how I'm going to use it to make myself the best Piano Tiles player in the entire world. Not a very long time ago, I have been playing Piano Tiles and I thought, wow, I'm really not optimal at this process. And that gave me an idea that I should create some sort of robot who could play this game for me and thus the Talminator began. So firstly I thought of using Arduino to control the whole process. I would use the photoresistors to read the value of the key and then use servo motors with some sort of extensions to press the corresponding keys. And I 3D modeled a bunch of parts for exactly this variant, which eventually I didn't even use. After a bit of time, and with some delay, it was working. For one key. And then the problems have began, because this game can give you two keys, or to be precise tiles. At the same time, you really have to be able to press two tiles at the same time. An Arduino works in a sequential way and I don't know how to use interrupts, so I cannot press two keys at the same time. At least I don't know how to, and I'm too lazy to figure it out. Well, that's what I said to myself. The bigger reason why I chose not to use Arduino is because I really want to move on to just electronics for this project. And here lays the three main points for this project. So I have to read the color convert the pressing signal, press the tile. For reading the darkness of the tile, I have used the same photoresistors, I made them a part of voltage divider, so I would have a variable voltage signal. Then I used operational amplifier as a comparator, and I compared the variable value of the signal to the base value which I make from other voltage divider. So when a certain value is reached, the comparator gives out 5 volt signal. At the end of this comparator, I use a field effect transistor as a switch. And finally, for pressing part, I use a small solenoid with a flyback diode. And after a few long days of designing, I have created a masterpiece. And after ordering it online and a month of excitement while checking the package tracking every few minutes or so, it finally arrived. Designing few of the parts, well, you can literally see what's happening yourself. That I'm lazy and I didn't write the script for this part. And so, it was time for my first opponent. Oh, this is very easy. I, I suggest taking another one because this is way too easy. And it might take you a few minutes to get the speed. Okay.
<laughs> that was amazing. Try a uh, moonlight sonata. Once more. <laughs> <laughs>So now that I have a full statistical analysis of one player, it's time to take out the big guns and destroy the whole world! Well, I mean just one silly game that I suck at. So, intense sequence initiate! So yeah, it didn't work, or did it? No, it did not. So the problem was, I tried to use these kinds of things for capacitive screen to react, but in reality, it didn't work. But Odrus, they are conductive, so why didn't they work? Well, there's one very simple explanation. I don't know. But now, I will use these foil rolls, which might imitate the finger more. So again, intense sequence initiate! Or just show the video. Oh, so yeah, this kinda set the mood for the evening. So, okay, I'm an idiot. Do you see problem in this image? It's my brain, it stopped functioning. If you look closely, wait, 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 not that close. You can see that I put the solenoid part the opposite side than I should have. So what does it mean? It means that whenever a photoresistor captures a tile beneath it, the illuminator instantly uses the solenoid and it presses the white part and cannot press the tile. So let's give this a go with a correct setup and maybe I'll just put some markings on. So my doo, -doo brain won't make the same mistake again. And I'm finally hopeful for this one last test. So yeah, it works extremely fast, cause it's made from bare electronics, and in this project I learned so so much about analog electronics, and how I can apply them for something stupid like a video game. But I lied to you, and I think it's not fair. So the reality is that I wasn't able to make the screen react to anything I tried to put on, and in the end, I failed. But this is definitely not the end, cause I will try to upgrade this project and make it work. Like I have so many ideas how I can improve this project and make it look better. But for now, I'll leave it here and I will introduce you to something new. It's Patreon! And I have it now! And if you decide to become one of my patrons, you should know that I keep a count of every single one of my patrons and I will personally thank to each one of you in my next video.